Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft 2 where there has been an update or quite a few updates actually. So the uh, mod is now on 1.7.10 um, as always I will put the link to the IC2 Jenkins in the description now I have noticed um, somebody put uh, a link said go here for Industrial Craft 2 downloads if anybody puts a link in the comments I will delete it because I cannot um, confirm the validity of those links um, but if I don't get to there in time don't click any other links uh, in the comments apart of that say go here for uh, IC2 apart from the one in the description because that is the one that I know goes to the Jenkins and doesn't go to some weird site. So, uh, right, uh, when was it? Um, so the things you, you will need for this build, uh, you'll need a copy of 1.7.10, you will also need um, the latest version of Forge for 1.7.10 and obviously the build that you download off the Jenkins and as a result you get this so let's start with the basics NGNet has not been updated it has been updated there has been code changes being done on it according to the changelog player has been working on it but uh, the NGNet is not currently enabled if that makes sense so your NGNet will still work but there's no downside to overloading the system yet. As you can see, I've got four generators hooked up to a bat box and it's running fine. It hasn't exploded. Um, if we were to hook... Um, why aren't I in creative mode? Um, if I was to do that as an MFSU, and then bat box, so yeah, MFSU goes there. That gets charged up with fuel power. We've got our back box in here, and then that's being charged up. You wouldn't be able to do that if the NGNet was active. Uh, the back box would blow. So yeah, that's that. Um, there has been some art changes. So this is the new uranium block. We also have a new mining laser and a new plasma launcher. So the mining laser does work it says on the tin it mines um, as it used to and you can change the mode somehow um, I'm not completely sure how I've never been particularly good with changing modes for mining lasers but I have been particularly good at um, firing one on scatter inside my base which has never been particularly good and the plasma launcher is a little bit strange in that sometimes it does holes like that and once I manage to get it do, to do this hole and I'm not completely sure how uh, obviously it needs to be tweaked a little bit the bolts are a little bit weird in just how it does damage uh, it seems to do physical damage and then um, there does seem to be some kind of wave of energy that radiates and murders mobs so not completely sure about that yet however the plasma launcher does not currently have a um, recipe yet it's uh, as uh, at the moment it is only a um, uh, creative only um, thing so that's those uh, other things that have changed um, right so the new mechanic then now we can actually talk about it now I've worked this one out so what you have on here is a red spot and on the sterling generator you have a sort of a spot here and what you need to do is turn it so the spots are basically linked to, to one another and then that will actually transfer heat now there doesn't seem to be multiple spots let's have a look on here right, 
So if I was to put my bio oh, mass no it's a, a fermenter. We do actually have a heat thing here, but that should now be on the ball. And there we get our bio stuff. We put it in there. Is that actually so that is transferring heat and that is now working. Uh, yeah, okay. That is actually quite an awesome little mechanic. It's something a little bit more industrial. And again, I don't know, it's, it's actually quite an interesting mechanic, isn't it? So instead of just having something that makes you endless amounts of power, it actually makes you endless amounts of heat. Then, I guess, if that's making you endless amounts of heat, forget that. Theoretically, if I was to put a furnace, standard iron furnace. Uh, this I don't know if this is going to work. It would be nice if it does. I don't think it would. Um, oh, oh, it would be would have been quite nice to have this um, heating the furnace. Um, and obviously, there are other things that. So you have this heat exchanger, but how do you transfer your heat from component to component? You seem to ha need to have something that's making heat attached to something that's either generating or you know, is doing one thing or another. There doesn't seem to be a way of moving that heat around using, say, heat pipes. At least I can't find any in the um, in here. I mean, theoretically, you could use something like copper cable. I highly doubt this is going to do anything. No, it won't even connect. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> I just use copper blocks to connect stuff. That would totally work, wouldn't it? It's, it won't. Uh, so, downsides of the new mechanic. Uh, it's a little bit... It's a little bit meh, you know? Oh, hello. This is actually apparently... Oh, no, it's just not updated from... So it's tra trying to transfer the heat. But it's got nowhere to transfer it to. A bug. Um... Yeah, it's quite an interesting mechanic, uh, and definitely something to mess around with. I hope to see that they add heat pipes, so that you can actually transfer your heat around uh, to different machines. Um, you know, like you know, copper heat pipes, gold heat pipes, you know, the sorts of things that you essentially use in computers to uh, get rid of your heat. You can kind of do something there. Um, Yeah, unless, you know, it's, it's quite possible that they have something up their sleeve. Because, you know, stuff like this this heat exchanger, liquid heat exchanger, you've only got a port, to a single port to get rid of your heat. And even on the RTG, you've only got a single port to dispense of your heat. Just a little bit, nah. But it is quite a nice mechanic, and I hope that they'll expand on it. Uh, so, that's been the Iron Phoenix. Thank you for watching. And maybe I will do a slightly less um, first looky type thing later on. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.